What's up, guys? Yeah, we're finally doing this. Like, as much as we want to talk about how viable, incredible some Pokemon has become in Generation 8, there are Pokemon that suffered. And one of the Pokemon I think suffered the most is the one I think that was unintentional. And there's Jolteon. Jolteon has been, for the longest time, really, one of the most viable Earthly types there is. Uh, it is an OG Pokemon, it is the Pokemon that is considered one of the best electric types in Generation 1. The follow up in Generation 2, 3, 4, even in Generation 5 was considered really, really, really good. Then started to fall behind a little bit in Generation 6 and even a bit more in Generation 7 to just getting flattened in Generation 8. And it's now considered a never used Pokemon that may or may not actually be worth actually using there either. And I want to talk about, of course, my story, but also what it did to him and why does it work. Um, and I really want to just celebrate it because I really, really like Jolteon. It's been one of the Pokemon's that I like to use in the League aspect because of its pinpointing in matchups and its viability in its abilities. Um, the abilities, of course, still there. Just the pinpointing is kind of kind of got lost here in translation, but. Um, the thing that made Jolteon works is because it actually was one of those really cheap Pokemon that you can get that still have a very high speed here, a fair special attack. It's really, really thrived in private games and abilities that could possibly check one of the more viable Pokemons in both uh, Thunderous and Tabu Koko. It even dealt with Seraora to an extent because of that Volt Absorb, because it was a Pokemon that really did good did well because of the Volt Absorbing. Uh, this is one of the few Pokemon that actually came in versus Tabu Koko. It didn't have a filler move to deal with it as Thunderbolt was neutral because of the Thunder Drain, or Electric Drain. And um, yeah, it, it you know, you, you bricked it wrong and all of a sudden Jolteon got recovery. Uh, it was really strange. It leaks, it really had such a cool viability and Quick Feet, of course, was magnificent for potential Raid and Sun and Sand Team because of the extra speed. It's really strange to see that those assets are still there, but the things it lost is actually two moves that made it significant. Uh, hidden Power was lost, and Hidden Power, while not the strongest move, it was the difference between its viability. Having something like Hidden Power Ice to have a, a meaningless filler, but basically anything that could check it, like a ground type, was always to be very about that. And of course, you know, Hidden Power Eyes work really well versus Thunders, for example, which could carry Volt Absorb itself. And another thing that was really, course, really great was for rain teams or the Mega Swampert. If you had Quick Feed, you could carry the likes of um, Hidden Power Grass, you can pinpoint a matchup like. Yeah, sure, they resist Thunder, but could it take the, the aftermath of the fall of move? It lost that, and the other move it lost was Signal Beam. And Signal Beam was never used in this Pokemon, but it was an asset, and that asset is now making this Pokemon worse than ever, because the loss of not having Signal Beam no more in the game, as it's most likely similar to Bug Buzz, was that Grass types now that never really checked this Pokemon because of the Power Ice before it, now it can't carry single beam either, so grass types are free to come in versus Jolteon. Then all of a sudden, it move pull is now based on Hyper Beam, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, and um, the fillers of electric types. <laughs> and it doesn't cover a lot of ground, it really isn't. Like, yeah, sure, I mean, if we can spam Thunderbolts, it's alright. Like, that's it's one of its main perks of being able to Volt Switch. But now going from being, you know, a Pokemon that could be checked from Pokemon to not be countered by them completely, made this Pokemon so much worse than it was before, and it really showed as Yolteon is never considered no more, and it, in the two leagues I've been joining from, at least from this video, Yolteon, it has been picked up, absolutely, but it's far from, you know, with high viability, Pokemon, or people just pick it up because it's one of the remaining electric type because there are so few in this game, and Yolteon is, you know, an aftermath Pokemon for many, or an afterthought. So, it has a it has a pretty tough fall from grace, and it's so sad to see it go. Um, I really hope this Pokemon get a proper buff. Um, I mean, it now has a worse move pool than Flareon, and Flareon has been a laughingstock. They nerfed this Pokemon so awfully 
that, I, like I said, I don't think it was intentional. I think that makes it worse. Hidden Power possibly had to go, but the decisions made for this Pokemon as a whole, or moves was removed, made this Pokemon not only unviable, but pretty much useless as a electric type. And you don't see that. Jolten has been thriving in the generations before it, just to really, really get the cold shoulder and will be one of the more forgettable electric types this generation. And if it is then fixed, well, then Jolteon is going to be just, well, bad for this generation. And it sucks because I like this Pokemon. I think it's incredible. And I really, really hate that they ruined it as they did. Um, so what do you guys think about Jolteon? Um, you still use it, think it's alright? Or you really you suffer with me that they really, really destroyed this Pokemon and made it a lot worse than it really was before? Because it's very hard to see a Pokemon that was always considered mediocre to somewhat viable to be close to unviable like it is right now. And I think it sucks a lot. So thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you on Sunday with the next episode of Who's Really Better. Till then, take care. Bye.